Hello viewers, my name is Nick and I'm a videographer and a video editor and I work with Sahara TV. Today I'm introducing Dr. Jackery Damages! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! New York City is so great that a Bronx woman has married 10 men in 11 years. What? Oh yeah, in a green card scam. Oh yeah, she got sentenced to rehab. <laughs> now, for those of you who do not know, rehab is that place that uh, Magic Fashe goes to come, uh, goes in and comes out from, you know, that kind of... Rudolph. Now, the 40-year-old woman could not remember the names of some of the men she married. What? Oh yeah, I looked up the names and some of them sounded like the names here, like the, your name, like this one. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, one was the Meiji something, I don't know. <laughs> It looks like you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, in one year alone, 2002, she married five men. <gasps> five, yeah. Wow. At one wow. point, at one point, the woman was married to eight men at the same time. No way. No, this is a real story. New York story, only in New York. Now, she told New York Post, uh -huh. I was in very bad shape. What? Yeah. And I don't remember much of that point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Look at her, look at her. Wow. Now, now, it's the same thing with America. America as a whole today is in a very bad shape. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm. Why? It is hunting season again. Oh, hey. Hunting season. Last oh, week, two unarmed black men were mm -hmm. shot dead. Mm -hmm. One in Louisiana, hey, one in Minnesota. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Now, here is the shooting of Alton Sterling in Louisiana. Watch. Mm. Wow. I know. Horrible, isn't it? Wow. Horrible. Horrible. And and here is the shooting of Philando Castle in Minnesota. Watch. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled yeah. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. He had you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my god, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Just keep your hands where they are, please. Yes, I will, sir. I'll keep my hands where they are. Please don't tell me this, Lord. Please, Jesus, don't tell me that he's gone. Please don't tell me that he's gone. Please, officer, don't tell me that you just did this to him. Wow. Wow. What a, what a waste. Wow. What a waste. Unbelievable. What a life. Wow. You know? <laughs> now, as expected, Black Lives Matter went on a protest across the country. Of course. Their slogan was, no justice no peace. No justice, no peace. I think they should no land that in. They should land no that. Peace. They should land that in, in Africa. <laughs> now, there was a debate about uh -huh. when was this? Would they have been killed if they had not resisted arrest? Mm. I think what? that's that's a wrong debate. What? You know. Yes. Now, no, but but let me show you this. Here is a white man resisting arrest. Watch. You see, you see, they, wow. didn't, they didn't kill him. They didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. Now, now, there is a bigger debate and a bigger question. Hmm. And it goes like this. Could they have been killed if they were white? Could wow. they? Could they? No. <laughs> now, no. now, here, 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 are some, hey. here are some statistics. Across the United States, 509 people have been killed by police this year. Wow. 509. 509, yeah. Out of that number, 238 were white people. 123 black people mm -hmm. and 79 were people that crossed the border. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This, this is a serious topic. This is a serious topic. Exactly. Yeah, now, now, go with me. If you were to be proportional to each group's population, uh -huh. then since blacks are 13% of the US population, uh -huh. the number of black people that supposed to have been killed by the police should have been 30. Hey! 30, that's it. Hey. But no, it's 123. Being that white people 
there are seventy-two percent of the U.S. population. Uh -huh. Okay, the number of white people that should have been killed by the police mm -hmm. if they are going proportional to the population should have been six hundred and eighty-one. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so you see, you see, this is not fair. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking mathematically. Mm -hmm. You know, hey. I know it will take some of you to, like a whole day to, hey. to do this calculation, hey. but, but <laughs> trust me, I'm right. You know, so, so they're killing more black people. So while I was busy doing these calculations, you know, mm -hmm. a sniper in Dallas mm -hmm. shot and killed five police officers. Yes. These officers were protecting Black Lives Matter protesters wow. in downtown Dallas. Mm -hmm. Watch. Holy shit. Holy shit. They're shooting right now and uh there's an officer down. Uh, it's coming from the right over there, from around these buildings. I don't know where. Wow! Wow! You see, I tell you, I tell you, wow. America is a complicated country. Mm -hmm. Complicated. Mm -hmm. Dallas police simply sent a robot to blow up the sniper with a bomb. Wow! Wow! This America, we use these things. We buy and build these weapons and use it abroad, and then we bring it home to kill ourselves. Of That's America. Complicated. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands it. Now. Here is Obama's reaction to the killing of two black men. Oh, please. Watch. All of us as Americans should be troubled by these shootings because these are not isolated incidents. Oh, please. I know, I know. Mm. Well, well, the president had his say. When he thought he was going to sleep, Dallas police officers were then killed. Mm. So. Here is Obama again, reacting to the killing of police officers in Dallas. Watch. The federal government will provide whatever assistance Dallas may need as it deals with this uh, tremendous tragedy. We still don't know all the facts. What we do know is that there has been a vicious, calculated, and despicable attack on law enforcement. There is no possible justification for these kinds of attacks or any violence against law enforcement. Wow. I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. You have to feel sorry for Obama. You know, mm -hmm. I prefer to see the other Obama, the other side of Obama, not this one we are seeing mm -hmm. in these tragic situations. You know the one I'm talking about? Watch. Happy birthday, dear Malia. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, everybody. I know, I know. Uh, wow. America is truly God's own country. Hmm. The problem is that God was not consulted when they wrote the Constitution of America. That's true. That was That's it. That was true. it. If God was consulted, he would have told them, point blank, mm -hmm. thou shall not kill uh, means thou shall not kill. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you have to give everybody in America a gun and hope that they won't kill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. They misunderstood that. And until then, the killings will continue. As the good book says, God chooses the foolish things of this world hmm. to shame the wise. Wow. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Tweet it out. Where is Sasha? Oh, Sasha is not here. <laughs> huh? talk, talk. Anyway, let's forget about violent America. Let's go to the peaceful continent of Africa. Yeah. Our motherland. You know? Woo! Mama, Africa. Woo! How do you do, Mama? Mama, Africa. So, protesters in Zimbabwe last week shut down the country. Hey. Oh, yeah. In a WhatsApp campaign called Shut Down Zimbabwe, shut down. the protesters were complaining about poor living standards and government failure to pay workers their salaries. Mm -hmm. wow. You know what? <laughs> Can you see how they are beating up protesters? I look forward to when an African government official will stand up and say this to protesters in his or her own country. Watch. And to those who seek to improve our country through peaceful protest and protected speech, I want you to know that your voice is important. Do not be discouraged by those who would use your lawful actions as a cover for their heinous violence. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah. Wow. I, I didn't know that she wow. could say that. You know, did she say what I had? Mm -hmm. uh, please, uh, play more of you that. Heard it, right? More. We will continue to safeguard your constitutional rights and to work with you in the difficult mission of building a better nation and a brighter future. Mm -hmm. wow. 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 Now, now, Mugabe has since shut down what remains of the internet in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. 
because because those protesters were also asking that the 92 year old man should stop should quit really now now as if the queen of england who and uh, who is over 100 years uh, who knows it's not still the queen of england <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. These protesters did not drink Kool-Aid. People were thinking that. People, that's what people are thinking. No, they did not. They were under the influence of a very bad Nigerian woman. She's also, she's so terrible that I cannot even use my mouth. This is my vagabond mouth to mention her name. Just, 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 just watch her in action. I know you can no, hear me. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't no, 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 you're pushing me, sir. Please, you're pushing me, here, sir. Do, don't you think it's time to step down, sir? Okay, it's okay. Sir, don't you think it's time okay. to step down? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Can you say something, sir? Do you think it's time to step down? Which one? How's your health? How you feeling? Sure, sure. Mira, 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 it up. I have no idea what that means. Mr. Harry Potter has asked him. Mr. Harry Potter um, has asked him. Is something, President Mugabe going to step down? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait. And, and so he can rap? Yeah. Okay, okay. 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 So he can rap? You want to ask questions? question? You want to ask question about Mugabe? Is Mugabe going to have a change in his Yeah, she's the one influencing them. You know, just when everyone across the world, across Africa, is messing up. Gambia's president, Yaya Jameh, is standing up for peace and justice. Amen. Oh yeah, President Jameh last week ordered lawmakers in his country to introduce a law mm -hmm. to ban child marriage. Ooh. Ooh. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. he, said, he said that everyone marrying a girl under the age of 18 will be jailed for 20 years. Mm -hmm. he, he did not stop there. He also said that the parents of the girl should also be jailed with the imam who performed the marriage ceremony. Yes. You can't be that. You wow. can't be that. This is what you see. This is what I call change. Exactly. If, if you want exactly. to bring change, you bring change. You know. Exactly. If you are serious about change, you bring change. Exactly. Now, now, <laughs> something funny happened. After he said that, people went on the street to celebrate mm -hmm. over the order he gave. You know, mm -hmm. and he mistook them. He thought they were protesters <laughs> and quickly locked them up. Africa. Now, talking about confused presidents, Cameroonian President Paul Beer has sent a delegation to Nigeria to learn how to trace stolen money. <laughs> no, we don't make this up. This is it's in the news. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine that? Oloshi, Paul Beer. Oloshi. Now, uh, Mr. Beer, if I think your head is not correct, I'm serious. Your head is not correct. If if you are looking for loot, money stolen out of Cameroon. Look inside Chanel, say your wife's hair. Hey! Oh, 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 I forgot that is the wife. My bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't know that. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. But look there. That's she's hiding something. You're bad. Now in Nigeria, there is confusion everywhere. Of course. Everywhere. Just when people were getting done with kicking each other over Buhari's removal of Ibe Kachuku as the group managing director of NNPC. Mm -hmm. Serving and retired army generals are in panic over a report about arms deals they, they all participated in. Wow. Oh yeah, it's coming up. Newspapers are reporting that some retired and serving generals will receive punishment for partaking in the stealing of money meant to fight uh, by arms to fight Boko Haram. Sure. Oh yeah, oh, it's a serious, serious news. By next week it will blow up. Wow. I'm telling you, is this the kind of punishment they are going to receive? Watch. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is training video? Is that what you're telling me? If this is training video, how do you punish soldiers who did bad things then? Tell me. How? Tell me. How? Hey. Like this? Or like that? <laughs> terrible, terrible. Woo! Now, now. So Buhari appointed a new board of NMPC. Really? He made his junior minister, uh, uh, Ibe Kachuku, mm -hmm. the chairman of the board. Hey. Mm. But some people think that he was made the chairman of NMPC's Parent Teachers Association. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's what some people like this one. <laughs> now, as expected, every appointment made in Nigeria now requires us to Google the person's name. We have to find the religion of the person, the state of origin, mm -hmm. and the complexion of uh, his girlfriend. Yeah. 
But no, we have to do that. It's very important. Now, if the appointee is a woman, well, um, that never happens. We are talking about Buhari. It never happens. No, no, no. It doesn't happen. Forget about it. It doesn't happen. <laughs> and, and, and I must tell you, I must tell you that I was disappointed that none of the NNPC's PTA members is from my state. I'm ta state? talking about the state of confusion. <laughs> That's where everybody, most people in Nigeria, they are, they are from self confusion. We don't know what's going on. Now, the one thing that I could not understand was Buhari's decision to put his chief of staff mm -hmm. as a member of the NNPC's PTA. Wow. Oh, yeah, I know. With so much unemployment in Nigeria, why should one man have more than one job? Why? And it's not like he's doing the one job he had. Well, you know, why? Uh -uh. No, like, like this one, and this one, and this one. Why should they have more than one job? Under Jonathan, Obasan just said that Nigeria had five presidents. Huh? Patience Jonathan, mm. Ngao Baby, mm. Stella Odua, mm -hmm. Desi and Alice Madeke, yeah. and Jonathan. Yes, sir. With Jonathan as the weakest point. <laughs> Likewise, under Buhari, Nigeria has four presidents. <laughs> We're looking for the fifth one. <laughs> we have Abe, the, the man that is the chief of staff. Uh -huh. We have Dwara, the man that is the chief of uh, secret police. Uh -huh. And we have uh, Lawal, the one that is the secretary of the federal government. Yeah. And then Buhari, which is the weakest, he's still the weakest. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, in corruption news, Governor Fayosha of Ekiti State is reported to have bought a 1.35 billion, billion yeah. Naira house. Yeah. In, in, in just six months in office. Wow. He came in, in six months, he bought the 1.35 billion Naira house. Yeah. Now, I don't know why people were shocked, you know. This is not a case of, this is not, people were shocked and they're up in arms. But this is not a, a case of corruption. No, look here, look here, my people. This is not stealing. Let me, let me explain to you how he did it. At 200 million Naira a month, a security vote, which by the way, every governor, they all get this. <laughs> they get it before they pay their workers. This is just security votes well used. Mm -hmm. Or, or do you prefer that he will use the money to buy a CV for members of the House of Assembly? Is that what you want? Is that, is that what you want? That's what they did in Ebony State. They just used the money. Yeah, they just used the money and buy them one SUV and they are happy. <laughs> now, meanwhile, in Oshun State, Governor Arebo Shola cried out. He said, I have not received salary since August 2010. Oh, yeah, he's the governor. I say, poor guy, poor guy, you know. But see what I'm telling you, you know, this is what I'm saying. Like other governors, he just manages the 200 million a month. <laughs> that he gets in security vote. That's it. He just, he just manages it, you know. The family, they try, you know. It's not even enough to bleed the skin of the family member. It's not. Very poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in what is the biggest corruption news of the week? Tell us. EFCC said that former Nigeria's aviation minister, Selo Dua, you know her? She deposited 2.5 billion oh, capital B into her housemate's bank oh, account. Hey. Housemate, housemate, housemate. So Princess Stella Dua was so generous uh -huh. that she dashed billions to her housemate. Oh, wow. Now, uh, before you start, um, you, 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 before you start um, hanging around the minister's house looking for housemates to marry, <laughs> let me let me tell you, let me tell you. According to the National Association of Nigerian Housemates. Uh -huh. What? They don't even know that they have accounts in the bank. <laughs> so, so, so before you start going to see if you will marry one of them, they don't know they, don't they have that money. Kidding. Now, the good thing is that Stella Dua denied it. She oh, said that the story was a figment of the housemate's imagination. Oh. <laughs> that, that explains it, you know? Now, in sports news, soccer star Messi. You know Messi? Yes. Oh, yeah. Messi he was, this week, sentenced to 21 months in prison yeah. for tax fraud. Mm -hmm. yeah. Immediately the news broke. Some prison football leagues, they were celebrating and hoping to recruit him. <laughs> <laughs> I say stop, stop, stop. Fellow, uh, my, 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 my fellow prisoners, stop, stop. Guess what? Messi is not going to play for your team. No, no. He's not even coming anywhere near your prison. No. Hey. The Spanish judicial system, were, they were just messing around. <laughs> They were just messing around. You know, he's messy for crying out loud. Did you get that? They're just messing around. This is something we call Secrets of Pictures.
It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Words. Good, good. The first picture you're looking at is that of uh, Obasanjo, the former president of Obasanjo, okay. with his team. They were just getting ready to go and play. Hey. Look, look at him. The man is like 102 years. Look at him. <laughs> eh? But he's still playing. Yes. I say, shame on you, Messi, for leaving international soccer. Shame on you. <laughs> look at Obasanjo. The next picture you're looking at is Buhari hosting. He's, he's hosting and serving physically challenged Nigerians in Asorok. Uh -huh. He brought them into Asorok and he's serving them. Isn't that wonderful? Jesus! It's wonderful. In on, like Jesus. <laughs> I like that, I like that. In ordinary times, you know, this would have been a very good symbolic move. Mm -hmm. But these are no ordinary times. Nigerians are asking, how much does that food cost? Yes, yes. yes we want to know. How much? How much? It's not in the budget. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Nigerian military reopens Boronu Road that was closed three years ago because of Boko Haram. Hey. Can you believe that? Three years ago. You see, this is what I'm talking about. And people are saying there's no change. The next thing they will reopen is that box where they put uh, APC promises. Hey. The promise to do this and do this. Then we open it. We are praying in another three years. <laughs> EFCC removes Deziani from money laundering trial. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they say don't panic. Don't panic. They say that her case is different. Why? It's now under a new category. They oh. called it a money dry cleaning. <laughs> oh, money dry cleaning thing, you know. <laughs> CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, takes over management of Skype Bank. Cool, Did you hear that? Yes. Oh yeah, they said no more. We are taking it over. I didn't know that they have that kind of power. Do you know that? No, I, I didn't. I didn't know. So when are they going to take over the management of CBN? Do it. When? Never. Did you get it? Yes. <laughs> when, will, when will the CBN take over the management? Uh, because we don't know who is managing it. I think oh. it's Buhari. Buhari wakes up and says, can you do this? And they'll do it. <laughs> we don't know. Anyway. Ibazu, Governor Ibazu, tax certificate. Oh, we're, yeah. we're not fake, hmm. says what? Abia State's Internal Revenue Service. Did you hear the story? Really? The governor was kicked out because they said that his tax certificates were fake. Oh, wow. Now, now the IRS in Abia is saying that he, they were not fake. Okay. They said that they were only made in Abia. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. It was made in Abia. That, that's all. Case was closed on the strength of that argument. They said you can come back. Come back and be a governor. <laughs> So that'd be a lesson for you. This guy is from Arabia State. <laughs> we know that. We know. We, we need to check your visa to America and know whether, whether your visa was made in Arabia. <laughs> now, this is, this is very important. Omishere, you know him, the former senator. Mm -hmm. He said he was arrested by the EFCC. Oh. And this is what he told them. I will not follow you. Only my dead body will follow you. What? Oh, yeah. He was telling them. He resisted arrest. He said, I'm not going anywhere. And then the EFCC, they gave him roasted cons. <laughs> and he said, hey, let's go, let's go. Nonsense. Niger Delta Avengers announces fresh attacks on Chevron and MPC facilities. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah. Were you, were you surprised? <laughs> oh, oh, you were waiting for the announcement for the cure of cancer. Was that what you were waiting for? <laughs> not, from, not from them. No, no, no. no. It's about destruction. That's all we... No, this is, very, this is very good. This is a very good one. I robbed to pay my children's school fees, oh, says wow. a suspect. You know, you know, that's quite impressive because the good news for him is that now that he's going to prison, he can actually get his own degree right there. Yeah. Hey. You know, by the way, do they have classes in Nigerian prison? Have you seen Nigerian prison? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can ask that body judge. He can tell us. He's been there. Oh, you know? Gosh. It's time for your email. Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. It's time for your email. It's time for your email. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Ah, 
too much just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is this is of this this is unacceptable. Yes. Insubordination. Insubordination. Yes. What reason do you have to give again today? I know you buy new attires and you want to show up. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, but this is a professional setting. Huh? What reason do you have? Explain. We don't have sushi, a lot of time. Sushi. Uh, we are going to bring in sushi or, or peruenko. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, what reason do you have? So Make it quick. Make it quick. I should be scared that you want to bring someone. Yes, in. yes. We don't have a lot of time. Doctor, I'll increase my pay. Then I'll hey, wear hey, my hey, uniform. Hey. Increase hey, my pay. Hey. It's a strike. Yes. Doctor, Black Americans are striking in the street right now. So me too. I shall strike. Hey, right now. Ah. It's my right. The market just has turned into ah. fire shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 hold me. You are in, in public, you are disgracing the doctor. Doctor, this is not public. There are people. This are, I don't know this. Are this, are, this, 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 this I know you. This I know one, you this two watching. I don't know them. We are friends. We will talk after the show. After, <laughs> after the show. This mm -hmm. is this is this is the height of insubordination. Yes. And, and we, shall we no need to talk. To, it. No, it's not acceptable. Yes. We have to talk to him. Who's that? Your person in there? Let's let's hear the emails. You say EFCC. Anyway. Our uh, first email is from Stanley in Sweden. Oh, yeah. Stanley, yeah, that's that's my friend, Stanley. I know that's yeah, your friend. you know when we are in you Sweden, yeah, that, yeah, that, European yeah. European. Uh -huh. When we used to um, um, drink uh, this uh, this uh, kind of drink that has an uh, umbrella on top of it. Mm. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Let's let's hear his email. Okay, he writes. Okay. Hi, Doctor Damages. I have been following your program and I See? so much love it. Is what I'm saying? Please, I have only one request to make. Ah. You are aware that President Buhari is having ear problem. What? Please, doctor, can you help him? Oh. I want you to inject him mm. in the ear so that he will be able to hear the cry of Nigerians ah. suffering. Uh -huh. That's a good point. He came to power with his negative chain. Oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, uh, thank you, Stanley. Thank you so much. Hey. You know. I, I tell you, I tell you, I have the x-ray of Buhari's ear. They, yeah. they sent it to me to read, you What's know. They did it in London. They couldn't read, you know, those, those British <laughs> people and their, their medicine is small compared to what we do here in America. Yes. But anyway, they sent it to me and I looked at it. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that the problem is not in his ears. Uh -huh. eh? The problem is in the head. Hey. No, no, not Buhari said. But the head of all those people who have his ears. Hey, hey. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Abba, Lawa, yeah. Like Drawra. Those are the problems. Those no Saraki has no ear. <laughs> that, one, that one has no ear. No, the, the man no the hear. But the people who have Buhari's ears, mm -hmm. they are the people who are blocking him from hearing your suffering. Oh, That's what I'm saying. That's Next. Not... So we okay. have to work with them, work on them, work, mm. maybe kick them out. <laughs> Next. 2019. Yeah. Our second email is from engineer Usman Bello oh. Abdullah oh. in Gombe oh. State, it, yes. Nigeria. That's my friend, you know. That's our friend, yeah. He used to write all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what does he want now? He writes, hi, doctor. I want you to teach us how to handle the two most functional things in our hearts. Mm. Guess what? It's love and hatred. Mm. Common sense in Nigeria is that if you like someone, you will never see his wrong deed. Oh. And if it is the person you hate, mm. you will never see his good deed. Mm. Proof to that is the social media arguments where we insult ourselves over the same people doing the same thing. Mm. And Buhari's attitude towards criminal in APC, criminals in APC. Mm. And always saying he's fighting corruption. Mm. We need to change. We need to change the way we think. Mm. and redefine what's common sense with respect to the remaining world. Despite Americans' craziness, mm. you will hardly see them insulting themselves over Hillary or Trump on social media. Mm. Oh. So we should not... That's a lie. That's, that's a lie. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey. So, we should not be disgracing our nation in our the eyes nation. of the world. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. You know, you know, your first observation is right. Mm -hmm. We are up in arms when the subject matter is ours. Mm -hmm. But when it's not, we don't care. We look away. Yes, it's like me. I don't care what anyone says about Tiwa Savage. Mm -hmm. But if you make any bad comment about Kosi, it's me and you. <laughs> it's me and you. <laughs> now, on the second matter of Hillary and Trump, uh, mm -hmm. Americans insult themselves like hell. Yes. <laughs> exactly. It's worse than anything Nigerians will ever be able to do. Yes. You know, the now, if you, if you doubt me, go to Huffington Post or New York Post comments mm -hmm. and read. Go and read. So, but thank you for writing. You have a point, you know. Yes. I support you. 
stay away from Kosi. I'm, I'm warning you. Yeah. Next. That's all the time. Ah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> that's all the time we have for emails. <laughs> Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at what is the other one? The way they put pictures. What is Instagram. it called? Instagram. Instagram. Uh, follow. Uh, do they follow Instagram. people on Instagram? Follow us on Instagram at. Dr. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Now, here is my concern for today. Uh, no, I don't know. That one is too advanced for me. It's too advanced. It's too advanced. <laughs> here is my concern for today. It's taken from page four one nine of the book Palm Trees on Snow mm. by Ellie Wiesel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you know him? He just passed away, oh. and he says, someone who hates one group. Hmm. We end up hating everyone yeah. mm. and ultimately hating himself yes. or herself. Yes. Yes. Until next Preach. week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you hear yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a lot of audience in here. Yeah, they are happy. Yeah, I yeah. brought them up. Well, so, 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 um, mm -hmm. what's People are not watching now. Tell me, mm -hmm. what are we going to do? Because we don't are want you sure to see. Are the camera see... is off? It's off now. We mm -hmm. don't want to see you No, doctor, dress is up... the camera off? I, I, I get... Sasha, I you Sasha, turn it off. Sasha is uh, not here. Sasha is not here anymore. Okay, okay. Oh. What happened? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Turn it off. Okay, so mm -hmm. what is the actual reason? What, what's the problem? Have you started doing... What, what do you do with the money <laughs> I pay you? Tell me. Because oh, I can do something. what is this? <laughs> I mean, I mean, tell me. I know you don't do this. Do I look you, like? You do, do I look like I do we don't, that? We don't know. People, they said you do that in the White House. <laughs> I, I didn't say it. Inquirer is official newspaper. You know. <laughs> so, Doctor, stop what, what trying to create scandal. Okay, okay, okay. Get it? Scandal, scandal, the White scandal. House. Ah! I'm brushing her up, you know, making her see things that I've done. Oh, doctor, you know, please. Before, okay. before she used to just watch a, 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 a Latino a, a drama. You yeah, know, what is it called? Yeah. Telenovela. Tele, 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 Telemundo. Telemundo. I brought her out from there to watch uh, civilized shows. Okay. Yeah, give, mm -hmm. show. we don't have Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Since we're in a rush, the yeah, reason yeah. why is simple and bland. Mm. Eh? Mm. It's summertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So, why am I, why am I dressed? Why am I dressed like this if it's summer? Doctor, you don't have to. Eh? I heard you are going to the Bahamas soon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Be showing us in your short short. Yeah, next. Yeah, that's that's next weekend. Yeah, next weekend I'm going to Bahamas. So. I'm going to uh, tell and he you to talk what, about what happened, me. my our people, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to see so. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this. Otherwise, there won't be, you know, things are hard. Watch, watch more. I, in fact, there's some way I'm cooking a goose. Subscri also, subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe. Whatever they say, subscribe. Click on it. Please. <laughs> for me. For me. Nice. Thank you.